reading of the New Testament as rendered by the, uh, the Gullah people. From the uh, Gullah Bible, the uh, Gullah Bible, the translation of the uh, King James Version of the Holy Bible. And when you see the translations like this, you see the the uh, old English, you know, the Marlowe, Shakespeare kind of English is in this column here, and this is the, uh, the Gullah. And uh, we read this every morning, uh, well, most mornings. Hey, is this Saturday now? No, it's Friday. What day is today? Saturday. Oh, then I have to go through the whole thing, explain what, what we do every, uh, we read, we try to read every morning, but Sunday, Sundays we do our Sunday sermon, which, which uh, deals with uh, Mr. Nilly Fuller Jr.'s um, uh, book. That's our, that's our scripture. Um, but uh, we read the color because um, on my maternal side, my uh, great grandfather was, was Gala. And, um, and so I, I was just intrigued of how the, uh, the newly freed, uh, you know, enslaved people learned to be literate so, so quick, you know, so they used what they had, which was the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And, uh, and so when they did, when they, uh, how do you say, when they went and, and did their translation, they did it in, well, how they spoke in their language. And so I figured somewhere in there, I said, well, hey, if I try to start reading the way the Gullah people talk, then perhaps, you know, I have some insight into my lineage, you see? So that's what I'm thinking, and that, that's what I'm doing, right? Um, what's interesting is several things have happened, um, because they're, they're, if you look at the different, I guess there's been a lot of diff different translations of the Holy Bible, and uh, they all uh, reflect, uh, the, you know, the, the people's sensibility at the time. I think there's a you know, there's all kinds of things that the, the New English, whatever. That I'm not really into the Holy Bible, but I'm just saying. But the one thing I've noticed this week, for instance, you know, there's a lot of folks that come over from other places, and they they try to uh, be black, you know, or they, they 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 talk black, right? Like for a long time, I would put not for a long time, for a short time, I would use instead of the word the, I would put. Like, like from the the Bronx, like in the, I, I was born and raised in the Bronx, and, and so you know we we had that Italian influence. Well, so the Bronx, D A, like the Bronx, right? So I used that for for a while, but then I'm realizing uh, that the Gullahs, when they say uh, the, they 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 they, they say D E, you see, the like that. Well, new they they do. I say new like that. Uh, so. So a lot of these people they come over and they just imitate whatever they whatever they see. So they start using "duh" because they think black people have black people, "duh," you know, "wit" or "we," uh, whatever, whatever they say like that. But Gullah Geechee, we we do it this way. So I start using "duh" like this, and so if they try to appropriate that, say, "Whoa, whoa, 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 that's Gullah. <laughs> that's Geechee. <laughs> you ain't Geechee." <laughs> You trying to perpetrate Gichi. Gichi is a certain lineage that comes from a, a spot, you know, Africa to this spot. Mine's have to be South Carolina. And they have also in Georgia, there's other places. There's a lot of Creole kind of languages. In fact, on, on my father's side, uh, legend has it um, that, that he may have been a uh, griffin or a guy from the bench, you know, to the Spanish and the English. They, and there's also warrior cultures. These are warrior cultures, by the way. So if you come, if you come, if you come from someplace else, trying to perpetrate being black, but you're not a warrior? Nah, a little suspect, you know what I mean? You, to, be, to be black in America, you have to be a warrior. If you come here and you, you, and you up there propping up the system or, or pimping off a of black, black, black culture, whatever it is, you're, you're a perpetrator. As they say in Chicago, you're perpetrating a fraud. Anyway, I, I, I wax enough for that. So that's what we do here. Uh, I've got the, this, my, my set. It depends on where I go. Uh, but this here, this here, this is my, uh, right here, this is called a wisdom knot. From West, 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 West uh, well, should show the whole thing. Hold on a second. Uh, oh, pull this up, man. Nice apple. I say nice apple. I don't know how to, I think, I think it's a, it's a, it's a con, you know, from West Africa. But it translates to, uh, uh. Let me, let me, let's not my set. Translate to wisdom knot. See, so 
So that, that's my symbol. Uh, uh, wisdom not is my symbol. Why? Because when I became an elder, I say, you're supposed to have wisdom. So my wisdom not, I use that, right? And since it's West African, did I ever tell you at one particular point, you know, I was saying, if, if I could be a part of any culture, you know, really, I mean, aside from my or Matthew Kalakichi, then it was West Africa, you know, uh, then, I, and yeah, I have, I have, I have understandings in, in, in say, the, the, um, uh, the, the Nigerian culture. That's, that's, that, that's the, um, I'm saying understandings in the Nigeria culture, uh, uh, which is, uh, uh, which is Yoruba, right? And it, as it goes to, um, uh, to um, Brazil, it became Candomblé. But as it comes up through North America, right, it changes, well, it changes through Cuba, due to Cuban strain to North America. It, um, it's also Europe, well, Europe culture, that strain, but that strain, their colors uh, for, well, I'm a child of Ogun, so, but that colors for Ogun is a, um, a green, black, with a bit of red. You see? A little bit of red. That's see, the red. This is the green side. It's, uh, on the other side, it's, it's black. You know what I mean? This is my Ogun cap, right? Oh, and this is, this is Kente cloth, I guess it's from. From Ghana, something like that. But this is a, it's a, it's it's one that's unusual. You don't you don't see this. Kinte is all kinds of stuff, right? Like, but uh, well, anyway, I'm saying this is one I I got a long long time ago in the '90s or whatever. Area. So I I I'm not in the '90s. Yeah, I think some some somewhere along the line I got it. I had I had another unique Kinte cloth in the '90s. Um, anyway, that and then you know we got the got my last name there, which was the translation. By the way, when you go to Africa and they want to change your name, what I did, I said, oh, you want to change my name? There's a lot of, a lot of different African languages. So I said, well, as long as it means the, the, the Anglo meaning of Sloan is warrior. So as long as you're, whatever it means, it means warrior, then that's fine. But you can't just throw any name on me, put this, it could be anything like that. Oh, and that flag back there, I, I particularly like that flag. I know, I know, you, I know you get the Pan African flag with the red, you know, the the, the red, black, and the green with the Marcus Garvey and all the rest. Of that. I understand that, yeah, and that's that, that's cool. Uh, sometimes I be Pan African. Sometimes I, sometimes I be, uh, how I say, so, sometimes I be uh, black. Sometimes I be African American. You know, but well, I said black, but I'm always black. But I like this player because remember, I'm an artiste. Well, my art form is audio drama. So this is uh, this guy, uh, David Hammonds. He did a, there was a biannual, or one of these um, art things that he created this flag for that, right there. Everybody thinks it means, I don't know what they think it means, but I particularly like it. Why? Because I like it, right? So that's the set. Oh, the set also, I should say. I also have, on the right side, I always have my, my grand nephew. See that? See how he's holding his fist up? Hey. Nobody told him to do that. He just did that. Unbelievable. It's like he was two at the time. A little bit less than two. On the back, it's my little book of tennis. Fist. See that thing? We got to save black people. Right? That's on the back list. It's my, it's a little uh, uh, photo thing that I, that I have that I keep. Oh, by the way, hey, that's a good picture of me right there. That's my wife, by the way. Like that. African. I'm Pan-African for real. She's, she's African, right? Um, so he stays, he stays on my right side. That's the set. So, oh, now that we've explained everything to you, every Saturday we explain, so, you know. Um, then I go to any, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll put this someplace else. I mean, I go to any page, um, and we just, I just read randomly, you know, it's like a cold reading. That's why it's so like, whoa, you know, why can't the brother practice? He should be da, da, da. Nah, this is rough. This is like I'm the newly, uh, the newly freed person. That would be me. <laughs> T from the Patterson taking the train to Tibet. That's me. Okay, so let's go to a page. Uh, any page. Uh, I don't have my glasses. My glasses in, in, in Virginia right now. Anyway, uh, page uh, six fifty two. This is Galatians five. Um, let's go right to the top. Um, and the way, like I said, I explained this, the way this thing goes, but I'm going to read, read Galatians 6, Galatians 5, 16. Let's see how the thing starts off like that. They have this, I don't know what this means. They always have this, 
thing here. I'm gonna read right under that, but let me try to read what that says. It's, on a on a live the Duke with the Holy Spirit tell on a fadu. Translate that if you want. I guess they don't really have a translation for that here. So start off at sixteen. They don't have the translation. Hey, a little flaw in the book here. They don't tell you what that translation is, what they just said. Oh well. Okay. Um, page, uh, like I said, page 652, Galatians 5, 16. I done tell on a, say, on a, ought, ought a lib the way. God's spirit tell on a, for a lib. The on a ain't gonna do just what's a be thing. On a sinful head with fadu. Okay, and the translation is, uh, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Oh, that's interesting. They spent a lot of time, let me, let me read this again. This is the color reading. I then tell on us, say, order, order live the way God's Spirit tell on us for a live. The honor ain't gonna do just what what's a bad thing on a sinful hat with fadu. And the translation is then I uh, this I say then walk in the spirit and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Heavy, heavy, heavy. Talk to you later.